Uh, now let's take a look at the markets and bring in our good friend David Barnson. David, uh, you say there is a significant pent-up demand and that many are underestimating it. I don't understand what that says. It, many are underestimating what? Make your case. Well, I think throughout this whole recovery, people have underestimated the pent-up demand, people's wow. basic human desire to get back to their lives, and that has a big economic implication. It's had a market implication, mm. too. Uh, the, the reality is right now, we have restaurant, uh, excuse me, hotel reservations are only down 9% from where they were pre-pandemic. Airline uh, traffic is only down about 20% from where it was, and it's growing 15% per month right now. You have a really huge desire for people to get back to normal, and I think a lot of that's priced in the market. I'm not saying that, pe that market prices mm. don't reflect it, but my point is that when we think about the economy and we think about market activity, this has been the mistake most people have made. The pent-up demand has been bigger than people expected. That's interesting. I get it. Uh, also, David, as when you're here, you know, Stu loves to talk about those dividend stock picks. Uh, you have Midstream Energy ETF and Truist Financial. Explain those picks. Yes, and let me say, because I didn't get to come on Wednesday, happy belated birthday to uh, our friend Stuart. Uh, uh, but as far as these uh, <laughs> dividend picks, we'll consider this a late birthday present. Uh, UMI is the ticker. It's actively managed a lot of oil and gas pipelines, MLPs, Canadian companies, U.S. corporations. But you get a really high dividend yield off of the pipeline's ability to transport oil and gas. And it is absolutely necessary environmentally, economically. It's a huge growth industry. It's our highest conviction at the Bonson Group right now. The second pick was Truist. You heard the Biden administration this morning say they want to start cracking down on mergers with financial institutions. Well, mm -hmm. Truist is a combination of SunTrust Bank, which you remember, and BB&T, two yes. pretty good-sized yes. southern banks that merge together. Who benefits from them cracking down on no more mergers? The banks that already merged. The banks that are already big, and now they get the government to come around and kick away a potential new competition. I think it's actually a perverse policy idea. The government goes running to J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo every time they need their help to go, you know, take on a weaker right. bank. But the fact of the matter is, Truist is a really well-run bank, two good regionals that came together with a 3.5% mm. dividend yield. Very good. David Bonson, you came through, and Stu, I'm sure, appreciates those birthday wishes. David, thanks so much, as always.